Hello, today we're going to take a look at your brother label printer settings for use with the PD Evidence family of applications, the evidence management system, as well as the laboratory management system. So let's head over to the control panel and we're going to open devices and printers. And you can see here I have an evidence label printer. Uh, if I go to properties, that's where I can control the name of this printer. I do recommend naming it something like an evidence label printer. Uh, because it helps your users figure out that that's the actual label printer, so they're not sending a regular you know, Microsoft Word print job uh, to the label printer. Now, Windows doesn't make these printer settings very easy for us. There's a variety of places that I can get into uh, that look like they would be the printer settings that I want. Uh, but I can tell you the only place that really matters for printing within your web browser is going to be this advanced tab and then the printing defaults button. These are the settings, uh, which can be different from the other areas where you'll see very similar settings, but these are the settings that your browser is going to respect. So most importantly, we're going to want our length to be at 4.5 inches. The feed is, is the default, 0.12. Our orientation is going to be landscape. We do want to pay attention to which boxes I have checked here, cut every label. Um, so that means after you print the label, it's going to automatically cut it for you. Uh, we want to cut at end. That is not a default setting. We want to turn that on. Um, it really only applies to the laboratory information management system, but it's not going to hurt to have it on for both. And then uh, trim tape after data, you also want that turned on. So these settings here are key. Obviously, we do have our paper size set at 2.4 inches, which is um, our standard uh, roll. Uh, but these are the key settings. And once again, they're located under printer properties, the advanced tab, and then printing defaults. So that being completed, I'm gonna head over to the evidence management system. I'm gonna click an item and choose print label. The other very important setting is to make sure that you're not doing any type of scaling when you're printing a label. So when we go here to print and we have our evidence label printer selected, if I go down here under more settings, we can see that I don't have fit to page turned on. Um, fit to page can sometimes be used by as a crutch if your printer settings aren't uh, right. But what's going to happen with the PD evidence labels is that if you do use fit to page, it's it could scrunch up these barcodes enough so that your scanner won't read, uh, won't read them once they're printed. And obviously that defeats the purpose. So you want to make sure you don't have any large amounts of white space and that we're not doing any type of scaling. If you do have that situation, then you're going to need to revisit your printer settings. Uh, again, under control panel, um, uh, printers, and then printer properties, advanced tab, printing defaults. Uh, if you do make changes and it looks like they're just not showing up for whatever reason, try closing all your browser windows out and then coming back in and try it again. I hope this helps. Thanks for joining me.